Hi, my name is Londa Larman, and you are watching Acoustic Energy. This is another episode of Acoustic Energy, and I am so excited to be here. My name is Joel. And my name is Dale and, Brown. And we are, like he said, extremely excited to be here. Yes, I know yes. that we have to rush this show because I figured, do you have a soccer game today? Well, because you're in your soccer shorts, so I didn't know like if you're like just gonna take off your jacket and run to the game. Like, I'm not sure. Uh, um, so we can we can we can move well, with the, with the well, show. Well, well, well. <laughs> Just so we're on the same page. I'm a little disturbed as to why it, because the, the shorts fits nicely when I'm standing, but when I sit, it's just a, a whole different ball game. You're wearing a suit jacket and then shorts. It's but a it's, suit. It's not a suit. It's a suit. I it's know. Together. You saw that LeBron James, um, that little you know press release. I know what it is. You're in 1989. I'm in 2021. Is that what it is? That's what it is. Okay. I'm just trying to breathe in these pants. That's what I'm trying to do. And then go to your soccer game. <laughs> yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we are game. so happy that you tuned in to yes, watch another episode of Acoustic Energy. Hopefully at the end of the show, maybe we can take the cameras and go to Dale's soccer game as well. <laughs> we are going to start this show off with a devotional by Pastor Andrew Thomas. Good evening and welcome to another edition of Acoustic Energy. I just want to send a shout out to... Uh, the Acoustic Energy team, Dale, Joel, and the rest of those behind the scene for inviting me to be a part of this great project. Um, I'm praying that it has changed your life as it has changed mine, and I look forward to what God will continue to do through this ministry. Just before I share a word with you, I'm going to ask that you bow your heads and close your eyes with me as we pray. Heavenly Father, we ask that you just speak through me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Colossians 3, chapter, yeah, Colossians chapter 3, verses 12 to 14, it reads, and I'm going to be reading from the New International Version. It says, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a, a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you and over all these virtues put on love which binds them all together in perfect unity in his book crucial conversations joseph grinney states that the health of an organization is measured by the lag time between when you feel it and when you discuss it you see not addressing issues in a timely manner tends to make things worse not addressing issues offers opportunity for a forged forgiveness or pretend forgiveness where where people say in their heart we can keep going and, and hopefully this will disappear but i will not be one to let it go forged forgiveness holding on to negative feelings and encourages disengagement a, a lack of collaboration uh, and aggressive behavior forgiveness however improves well-being and productivity, not just in your life, but in the life of your workplace. Despite this realization, organizations, including Christian ones, are skeptical, seeing forgiveness as, as just a religious concept that has no place in the workplace. Now, they may not say this is how they see things, but actions speak louder than words. They forge forgiveness. When people don't forgive, the whole team suffers. You can't expect a team to work well together if they hold grudges toward one another. It's just not going to happen. The co-founder of the website LinkedIn, Reed Hoffman, he said once, successful teams don't play the blame game. They practice forgiveness instead. Holding a grudge against a colleague or, or the organization that you work for gets teams stuck 
Instead of facing conflict, they focus on blaming others. Unforgiveness harms people and makes teams hurt. Research by the Standard Forgiveness Project shows that forgiving elevates our mood and increases optimism. Forgiving people and teams are, are more open to learning and improvement. They don't let past events define their present. Here are three ways that the Bible gives us, and just three, there are more, but here are three ways that the Bible gives us in Colossians chapter three to practice forgiveness. Number one, model forgiveness. Verse 12 in Colossians 3 says, As God's people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Whether you're the team leader or a team member, your behavior matters. Promoting forgiveness starts with you. Embrace being vulnerable. Take responsibility for your mistakes. Be forgiving of yourself and of others. Let transparency and personal accountability inspire growth and not blame. Number two, create a safe space. Verse 13 says, bear with each other, forgive one another, forgive as the Lord forgave you. Create the right environment for yourself, for your family, for your friends, for your colleagues to feel safe. Avoid attacking those who make mistakes. Provide opportunities for honest and open dialogue. Let people own up and overcome their mishaps. Give people the chance to, to apologize and, and improve their behavior. Contrary to popular belief, mistakes are a necessary component of innovation. Unfortunately, many institutions have a hard time accepting that their employees are human. They expect everyone to be flawless. Well, it is said that leaders make mistakes all the time, but great leaders turn mistakes into lessons. And number three, remember that love covers all. That's right. Colossians chapter three, verse 14. And over all these virtues, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Cover all wrongs with love. Cover individuals, teams you work with, organizations you work for with love. This is the binding agent for forgiveness to truly work. Wherever you see the need for forgiveness to be given, cover it with love. As the summer ends and we face the new seasons along with new and unknown challenges, I want to encourage you to do so with a forgiving heart. God bless you. And I pray and hope that your heart will be like the heart of Jesus and that you'll forgive. Pastor Thomas, yes. Pastor Thomas. Never fail. Thank you. We appreciate you. Yeah. He's been, he has had that demeanor since university days. He's very chill, but very on point with his delivery. Absolutely. I can totally Absolutely. agree with that statement. So I know you're dragging my shorts, but I'm going to just let you slide and we're going to just going to go straight into the <laughs> show for today. Okay. Our first artist today is Kayla Beckford, uh, right here, right here in Toronto. She's a worship leader. She's mm -hmm. a psalmist. And she's a creative. She's yes. a musician overall. And she has a new single out now called Dwelling, and it's on all streaming platforms. Kayla Beckford. Acoustic energy, what is going on? My name is Kayla Beckford, and I am so excited to be here. Listen, I want to give a special shout out to my friends, Joel and Dale. Thank you so much for this platform, and I pray that God will just bless you immensely. So thank you so much for allowing me to be here, and I pray that you're blessed with what I have to give. invite you in this room, we invite you in this room, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, we create a space, a dwelling place for you.
It's so soothing. Dwelling place. I, I love the sound. It, it had like a, a modern contemporary that's a good, vibe to that's, it. Yes. That's a good explanation. I like, I like that. I like Thank that. you, Kayla. Thank you very much. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Our next artiste. Yes. Janine Burt. Now, she has a strong passion for music and singing and began at the tender age of five. Mm. Although Toronto-born, Janine developed her music, musicality while living in Montreal, singing with the Perpetual Praise Choir and participating in various musical endeavors in school. A classically and jazz trained pianist, she has a strong passion for multi-genre adaptations in gospel and thoroughly enjoys her daily life as a piano and vocal instructor. Music is her favorite way to connect with God and it allows her to engage with the interpersonal aspects of her spirituality. It's my pleasure to introduce Janine Burt. Hey, Acoustic Energy, Dale and Joel, it's Janine. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to pour my heart out and share some music with you all. Thank you. 
just to stay close to you. Ooh, I need faith. Without it, it's impossible to Janine, 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 what a voice. Thank you Beautiful so very voice. much for being a part of our show. Thank you so very much. Our next artist is Mr. Jose Sanchez. Plays the guitar, plays the piano. He's actually a product of Christian education and okay, he's nice. currently studying at the seminary to okay. be a pastor. Nice. But he sings and he plays. I'm excited to hear Jose. I am, I'm extremely excited to hear Jose. <laughs> Everyone, welcome Jose. Acoustic Energy is an online platform that aims to create a safe space for artists to share their stories, showcase their gifts, 
and express love to our Creator in a global space. We are dedicated to helping improve our community through the arts. And this is why we rely on donations from viewers just like you. Your donations go towards helping us purchase equipment and fund the operation of this growing organization. So how exactly do you give, you may ask? It's simple. We invite you to send a donation using eTransfer or Cash App to give at acousticenergy.tv or visit us on our website, acousticenergy.tv under the button Give. And while you're there, it'd be great if you could subscribe to our YouTube channel. Together, we can continue to make AE an amazing reality.
We have Excited. Londa in the building. We have her on acoustic energy. Brother. And I am excited. I am trying to I contain myself. I came prepared my fight. today from a Londa interview. I see you got, you got the fashion. So my we, full fashion. Okay. Londa, welcome to acoustic energy. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Thank hello. you for being a Part of this yes. show, yes. I am, when I say excited that you are a part of this show, I am truly, 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 yes. truly excited Most definitely. It's that a, it's you a, took time out of your schedule to be a part yes, of it's this an, show. It's an honor for us that you're here with us. And um, we connect on so many levels, you know. I, in my mind, like, I love the glasses. I love the fashion runway. I know you sent me my shirt, so I'll just wait on it. Um, she sent but, the glasses as well. She sent the glasses, yeah, yeah. yeah. none for you, because you couldn't pull it off. I, I, no, no, I no, definitely I, could pull it off. I absolutely love how stylish you are. I love the glasses. Okay, I love yeah. the shirt. Um, what's going on? How is life? How are you doing? Everything's good, man. I'm doing what I can to uh, get through this pandemic. Yes. Uh, that's are. crazy. So uh, when I got my first shot, I'm excited about that. I'm happy. Um and uh, waiting for the next one and just trying to get through the summer and yes, uh, ministering yes. as usual yes, yes. with my church and everything and doing what I can. So as you, as you mentioned that, ministering with your church, which we know all about, mm -hmm. I want to ask you something just a little bit about your personal ministry, your newest single, yes. Great God. Mm -hmm. um, what about it? <laughs> you, uh, your first single was in 2011, which was Great Things. Right? right, that was my, my second album, actually. Got you, got you. So my question is, yes. what, what inspired your, your writing um, with regards to Great God? Was there any difference in what your approach was towards Great God as opposed to what your approach was towards the song Great Things or the album Great Things? Um, so my approach literally is um, I want God to be exalted in every song that I write. I want the songs to be um, singable so that other churches, other groups, singers, whatever, mm. um, they also Catchy. can minister the songs because I don't want it only to be for myself. Yes. I want it to go as far as it can. And I want people to feel free to sing them. Yes. It's always an honor for um, an artist to hear other churches, other worship teams, other choirs um and other groups singing their music that's an honor mm -hmm. if nobody's singing your music um i hey. mean if you're good with that then hey cool. mm -hmm. hey that's uh, a word <laughs> <laughs> but i want people to sing my music yes I, i'm blessed by that i'm blessed by that because then i know that it's impacting the world i believe that um when people are singing your music that means that it affected somebody just like when i want to sing somebody's cover yes. yeah. it's because it affected me in a personal way and so i want to minister it in my own way so that's, that's, that's a blessing. I love that. Yeah, I, love so that. I love that. Many people were introduced to you through uh, Rayma's worship and praise album. Right. So. Uh, well, that, even before that with love letters. Yes. There you go. Thank you for correcting me. <laughs> I apologize. Now you, <laughs> you have performed many places uh, and mm -hmm. uh, in movies such as uh, Blues Brothers. Um, and you mm -hmm. were a in part the of the musical uh, Caroline and the Change. Yes. So yes. what I want to know is what is your favorite thing in regards to collaborating with other artists? What is my favorite thing? I love collaborating with other artists because um, I get to enjoy who they are, mm. their artistry. And it's uh, two worlds colliding and coming together in a good way. And so I love doing that. I love um, doing stuff that challenges me, stuff that I may not be used to, something that will take me out of my comfort zone. I love that. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to music, period, I love anything that, anything to do with music, I'm willing to do, as long as it's not something that compromises my beliefs. I'm good with it. And so uh, collaborating with other artists, 
uh, and we have so many yes in yes. Toronto like yeah. so many so I I do love doing it I can be um somewhat picky though picky and choosy with who I collaborate with and it's nothing personal it's just um I believe that uh I don't think that everybody can collaborate with everybody yeah. depending on the actual artistry Absolutely. that you're working with. And so I, I can be picky with that, but on a, in general, I love doing it. I love that. You are one of Toronto's premier gospel artists. Simple. I said it. It is what it is. <laughs> no apologies. No. Bless you. And if anyone top, top. has a conversation, wants to have a conversation about it, nowhere to find it. Not me. even. But my question would be, advice that um that you would have for the young ones coming up or maybe even some of the older ones starting later what advice would you have for some christian artists uh coming up in the business so here's something i love when people ask me this question because i think that um i think a lot of people need to hear the answer this particular answer that i would give to that question you need to know whether or not you are called to be an artist mm. as opposed to just having the gift of singing. Uh, Two different things. Preach. Right? So a lot of people have the gift of singing. Let's speak to um, the US of A right now. Singers are a dime a dozen. Yes, yeah. this is true. In the US of A, literally. Yeah. There are singers every and anywhere. Yeah. But the, so, so having said that, for example, there are janitors out there yeah. that could sing circles around me. Okay. Mm. There are, you know, people that are doctors that could sing circles around me. Yeah. But they are called to be a doctor. Yeah. Mm. I like they that. They are called to be a janitor. Okay. Somebody has to clean. Yeah. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Right? So everybody has their purpose. Everybody has their calling. And just because you have a voice that can sing, doesn't mean that you are called to be a music minister or an artist. You have to know if that's your ministry. Wow. Yes. And the yeah. reason why I said that or that you're called to that, the reason I say that is because we've had so many that say that they're artists, but you see them today and they're gone tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Why is that? If you are called to be a music minister, why is there no longevity? Mm -hmm. Why is there no uh, commitment? to the ministry, to continue on, you know, like I, I believe that people need to really figure out what their calling is. And I think that the go-to for people that are not sure what their calling is, is to sing mm -hmm. and to go in the ministry of music because they really don't know what their purpose and calling is. So I know how to sing. I'm going to sing. I'm going to record a CD and then you won't hear from me for years. Yeah. I think there's a reason behind that. Mm. I like that. <laughs> I knew this was going to be good. I knew it was going to be profound. So, you know, oh. um, I don't know when I'm going to get this opportunity again. We're virtual, so I won't ask you to do a duet with me. But I will ask you, though, give us yeah. a little taste, if possible. Can you give us just a, a little 30 seconds, one minute of the single? Can you, can you give us just a, single. just a piece of it? So we can mm. let the listeners hear and be like, okay, you know, <laughs> Can you touch on just a little bit of the single for us? Sure. All right. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, your name is to be praised. So we cry Hosanna to the King of Kings. We cry Hosanna to the Lord of Lords. Cause there's nobody greater than you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no one more holy than you. Oh no, no. There's no one more faithful than you. Oh yeah, oh. There's no one more powerful than you. Than you, nobody. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to collaborate with Why me anymore. Why did you say 30 seconds? Should have said a minute. You don't have to wow. collaborate with me anymore because you wouldn't want me. No. You know what? I'm going to say that was great. That <sighs> What? That's amazing. Thank you. Thank that was you. beautiful. You know what I, you know what I like? Um, just coming from an authentic space, you can tell when an artist, a minister of the gospel, a singer is true to what they believe. 
Mm. When you just ask them, first of all, just impromptu, you want to fly, mm -hmm. hey, do something. And they can just genuinely just deliver from a, like, yeah. I meant what I, what I said. I meant what I right. wrote. I meant what I put pen to paper to transcribe. So I'm telling you now this because it, it wasn't an accident. I never, I never, mm -hmm. In other words, I never had to learn to do this. Like, I understood what it meant when I said, there's nobody greater than you from yes. the rising of the sun. I love it. I love it. I love it. Amen. Londa. Amen. It, you see the thing? The sound dropped my earpiece out? That's the sound. Oh. I'm still, my I'm still been singing good. in my, my head, My earbud has been good for months. <laughs> but you have Londa on here singing. No, my ear. Let me. It's okay, earbud. It's okay. Londa, I need to say a special thank you. Yes. Um, thank you. You don't know how much this yeah. means to us. Yes. Um, we are so proud of what you are doing for Toronto. Yes. Or for Canadian mm -hmm. artists. Um, you are, like I said, one of the premier, premier Toronto top, top. Canadian artists, period. Period. So thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule uh, to be a part of our show. We truly, truly appreciate you, and we will definitely continue to support you. And, and, and as soon as them fly the gate, as, <laughs> as them said, chi -ching, open the door. When we decide and we say, listen, Acoustic Energy is having their live show. Mm -hmm. Try remember our names. <laughs> so when you see the letter in the mail, you just say, oh, this is familiar. <laughs> we are definitely going to try to get and, you back. And when we have this live no thing, question. we need your... Have you ever heard her band? You're not in the band. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> okay. But I mean, she has people like Joel Chambers. You do, you do realize this is the first Dwayne person Wade. you're like, no chance. No, 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 no. You're not no, even no, trying no. to get in the band. No, no, no. I, yeah. Yo, I can hit a triangle, though. But her band... <laughs> They're, when I say they're clean. Yes. I, I've heard clean. them. Clean. So we, we're going to need them as well. So they're going to yes. have to take time out of their busy schedules as yes. well. Because uh, you definitely Thanks have again. some 100%. Thank you. From thank the entire you. team. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. We appreciate you. And hopefully we can get you back on the show one more time. Most definitely. I'm here, man. Call me when you're ready. Thanks so much for having me. It's an honor always. Love God you bless guys. you. God bless you. God bless you, Landa. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today. Ha. We're going to declare that our God is great and greatly to be praised. Yeah! Matchless works and your awesome power. We declare in all the earth that you're holy and that you're worthy. And all power belongs to you. Who compares to your matchless works and your awesome power? Yeah, we declare it in all the earth that you're holy.
Beautiful. I definitely enjoyed it. I want to thank every single artist uh, that was a part of this show. I want to give a special thank you to Londa um, for being a part of this show. Please go and check out her YouTube, YouTube page. channel. Yes, yes, you I mean, have to. For the Jamaicans, her YouTube. Um, please check out her page. It is Londa Larmond. Uh, definitely go and like and subscribe to her YouTube page. Her that, YouTube page. That's, that's how you guys say it. No? YouTube. I just figured that's. I want YouTube. to make you feel make you feel as <laughs> comfortable as possible. <laughs> Listen, if you are not already following us, please go ahead go ahead and do so at, on Instagram and Facebook at Acoustic Energy TV. And of course, we want to encourage you, as we always do, just encourage you to go ahead and take advantage of the option on our website where you can make a donation, mm -hmm. which is at Give at Acoustic Energy TV. You can send it via e-transfer, give at acousticenergy.tv and or cash app if you're in, in, in America um, at give at acousticenergy.tv. Um, and remember, if you know of or if you yourself are interested in being a part mm -hmm. of this show, feel free to go ahead and send us your information, your music at hello, send it to rather, there you go. hello at acousticenergy.tv. TV. I need to give a special shout out to the sponsor of today's show. That sponsor, bam, Salient Auto Detailing. They come to you. Yes. We are in that season now where you need to clean up that yes. car, make it look nice and clean. pretty for summer. Contact them. Shine. They will fix you up nice. Shine. Now, I realized something. It took me the whole show, but I realized something. Because we've been in this pandemic, um, for so, such a long period of time, we've been so used to Zoom uh -huh. and Zoom meetings, Zoom class. I figured, <laughs> you just figured that your it was just going to be your upper half that was going to be shown in... That's a good one. It's shown in, in, the, in one. the camera. That's am, why you just didn't wear the full pants. I am going to buy you. I understand. I am or are you going to, golfing? Which one? I am, go? going to, I am going to buy you. <laughs> I'm, Are you going to the soccer pitch? Which one is it? Which one is it? Go, go. It's not a soccer pitch. It's a soccer field. I'm you guys going, can't make up your mind. It's soccer it's pitch. It's a soccer, soccer field. Same thing, my Cricket guy. Cricket pitch. Okay, all I know field. is that you're not wearing I pants. am going to buy you. Rhythm! I'm going to buy you a short no, 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 no. suit. Yeah, for when I go swimming. You just have chicken you're, legs. You're That's wearing shorts for the show. Way. When I go swimming this or when- This is fly. This no. is pretty dope. No. This is, this is you're nice. You're ready to go play soccer. Your legs just don't look like this. You're just mad. 
LeBron did it, Draymond Green did it, I did it. Ooh, did you did it? I want to be like, oh, did, you, did you did, did it? Did you did it? Did you did it? <laughs>